If you haven't seen part 1 yet, it is highly recommended you watch that first before you watch this video which is part 2. In part 1, Alan enlisted the help of Lizard and Orion to help him get the resources required to make an evil clone out of Callum Rockley called Mullock, which is Callum spelt backwards. And on top of that, a new troubler making group has been formed which call themselves the Legion of Mullock. Will the cult of the White Dragon be able to thwart the Legion of Mullock's evil plans before all is lost? Only time can tell. And now, our story continues. Ha 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 ha. I am Mullock. I'm alive. We did it everyone. The experiment was a success. Thank you for creating me. I'm alive and ready to bring chaos to the land of Yond. But just as a question, who are you? Ah uh, yes, it is only right that we introduce ourselves. I am Alan, the leader of the Alanastians. I am Sheriff Teasel, former Sheriff of Hope County. Refer to me as Miss Trunchbull. They call me Lizard. I am Toxin. The name's Biff Tannen. My name is Hiram Lodge. I am Orion. Wow. What a dastardly bunch of people you are. I look forward to causing chaos with you all. Soon the land of Vion will fear us and we will reign supreme. So, what should we do for our first bit of troublemaking? Good question, Miss Trunchbull. Let's have a think. <laughs> Let's crash a ship into the power station. That sounds like a marvelous idea, Toxin. I agree with Alan. It will be so fun to see the power station explode and everyone suddenly lose their power. Ha 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 ha. And whilst you are at it, you can also capture my babysitter and hold her for a ransom. And if the cult of the white dragon doesn't pay up, she should die. Consider it done. Alright everyone. We have our mission. We'll go and capture Etaita, take her with us to the ship, hack the broadcasting network to demand ransom, and if no one pays, she will die, and the power station will go boom. Let's go. Good luck out there, lads. Well, this looks like the place. Alright, you stay out here and keep watch, I'll break into the house and extract our target. Give me a shout if anything happens. What the? Did I just hear glass smash? Hey! Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Oh, just visiting. Rise and shine. What the? Why am I in a room full of pipes tied to a chair in front of a bunch of troublemakers? I demand an explanation. I'm glad you asked. From now on, you are now our prisoner. But don't worry. It won't be for long. It will only be until one of two things happen. Either someone will pay a ransom of a million pounds, or you die a horrible death. How dare you? Let me go. Well, if the ransom is paid, then yes, we will let you go. But even if someone does pay the ransom and we set you free, the ship we're on will crash into the power station and the land of Yon will be plunged into permanent darkness. Ha 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 ha. You won't get away with this. Oh yeah? Who's gonna stop us? You'll see. Some heroic group will burst through the door at any moment and defeat you. I look forward to seeing them try. Alright then, let's get this ship moving. You got it boss. Hey, come back here. You're not supposed to leave yet, damn it. Wow, whoever knew a small seaside town could have such a good fast food restaurant? I know right. It's a lot better than having to eat lumpy potatoes. Wait, you've eaten lumpy potatoes before? Yes I have. And I can tell you that they are really disgusting and really made my stomach hurt. 
In fact, at one time they made me throw up so hard I shattered a mirror. Good grief. Wow. Lumpy potatoes are really that disgusting? I must try them at some point just to see for myself. As if the story of my experience didn't deter you. Trust me Callum, you don't want to eat lumpy potatoes. I ate them at the time because I was a troublemaker back then and I deserved it. In fact, lumpy potatoes is one of the reasons I stopped being a troublemaker. Just be thankful you can eat nice food. Being able to eat nice food is a privilege, not a right after all. Good point Holly. Wait a second. What's going on with that TV over there? It looks like interference to me. I don't think it's any interference. It's too uniform for that. Attention land of Yond. This is Mullet speaking. I have Edita hostage, here on a ship from Vion Harbor. If you want to see her alive and well, you must pay us a million pounds ransom. If you do not, she will die a long slow and painful death. If the ransom is paid in full, she will be released. You have 10 minutes to pay the ransom. We are the Legion of Moloch. Oh my god. That woman is being held hostage by some sort of new troublemaking group. And they expect us to pay a ransom which costs more than our house. And the worst part is that they said that if we don't pay the ransom in 10 minutes, she will die a horrible death. This we cannot ignore. Our lunch will have to wait. Right now we must go and rescue that woman before she is killed. You're right Callum. We should definitely go and help her. Alright everyone. Let's go and deal with those troublemakers. Flight mode engage. Okay everyone. They said that they were on a cargo ship. Keep your eyes open. I think I can see a cargo ship down there. I hope it's the right one. I think you might be right Holly. Alright everyone. Prepare for landing. That ransom costs more than I make in a year. Great job Mullock. No one will be stupid enough to pay that much. I know right. That's why I charge that much. No one will be able to pay it at all. You are a horrible bunch of people. Why, thank you. That's a nice thing to say. Stop right there criminal scum. What the? Oh great. Some heroic butthead suddenly decide to show up. Let the woman go. Now! No. Not unless you pay the ransom. Pay up or she dies. You heard Venom. Let her go right now, or there will be trouble. Yeah right. Over my dead body. If you want us to let her go, pay the ransom. This is your last warning Muluk. If you don't let Adita go, we will have to use force. So I suggest you release her right now. You can't defeat us Callum. Alan and Orion created me for one purpose, to cause trouble in the land of Yond. The blood of Unicron runs through me, and with its power, I'm invincible. You parasites don't even stand a chance. Parasite? That's it. I'm done playing games. If you won't let Adita go, we'll punch all your faces so hard, you'll have to stick a toothbrush up your asses to clean your teeth. You're welcome to try.
crying like a motor car, unless you want to become one and be given away as a prize on one of Vance's game shows. Wow. And that applies to you too, Biff. I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me. I can't believe these troublemakers would have the nerve to kidnap me and hold me for ransom. And what's worse is that they are now planning to crash this ship into the power station. Oh no. You didn't say the ship is about to crash into the Vion City power station, did you? That's right. This ship is on a direct collision course towards the power station, and soon the land of Vion will fall into darkness. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. The Vion City power station is nuclear, and if this ship crashes into it, not only will everyone lose their power, but the land of Vion will become the next Chernobyl. Does anyone here know how to operate a ship? I had to pilot a ship once and I think I might know how to stop this thing. I'll go to the control room and see if I can stop it before we crash. Hurry Travis, or else we will all explode. Ugh. Why do the corridors have to be so long? I really hope Travis knows what he's doing. I don't want to end up underwater. I don't want to drown either Marty. I just hope he gets there in time. Okay, there's got to be an emergency stop here somewhere. But the question is, where? Everybody, brace for impact. I hope this is the right one. Phew, that was a close one. Sorry I missed all the action guys. I had to deal with a giant robot who wanted to erase all of our games apart from two which it liked. It's fine James. Now Malak. Since Alan and Orion created you and they are both troublemakers, I will be the one grounding you. As for the rest of you, we will be calling all your guardians to tell them about what you did, so that you can be punished for your actions as well. Oh crap. We're gonna get grounded big time. I know it. Mullock. Agatha Trunchbull. Lizard. Jackson, William Teasel, Big Howard Tannen, Hiram P. Lodge. I can't believe you all had the nerve to kidnap someone, hold them for ransom, and then try to crash a ship into the power station. You know damn well that kidnapping someone and then holding them for a ransom is a very serious felony, and you can get arrested for it. Don't you know that the Alanistiums did the same thing to Godfrey and her daughter? You are very lucky Travis stopped the ship in time, because if it had crashed into the nuclear power station, not only would you have endangered the lives of the workers, but a lot of people in the land of beyond as a whole. Because there would have been an explosion and radioactive materials would have leaked and killed many people and you would have all been arrested for murder. To be honest, you are all extremely lucky you are not being arrested for what you did. We have enough troublemaking groups here in the land of beyond, and yet you had the nerve to form another. Wow. Just wow. I agree with what they just said. And Mullock. You could have said no to Alan, you could have been a non-troublemaker, you could have saved the land of Viand, but no. You just had to be a troublemaker and endanger countless lives. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. That's it. All of you are grounded until Gary Lipkowitz lowers the price of the permanent version of Viand. And while you are all grounded, all of you will be eating nothing, and I mean nothing, but lumpy potatoes for every meal you have, including dessert. And when we get home, you will all go straight to your rooms and you will all go straight to bed. Now let's go. Oh, 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 Orion, have you lost your mind? First you steal my ideas, spam videos, disable comments, then you make a killing video out of me, and now you make an evil clone of my friend, Callum Rockley. Don't you know you could have ruined his reputation? You are very lucky you didn't or else his YouTube career would have been ruined. You are a despicable coward and I wish I had never known you, that's it.
you are grounded until Callum Rockley reaches 1000 subscribers. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal. Go to your room right now. Wah! Alan Darrell Huntington. How dare you make an evil clone of Callum Rockley? Don't you know he could have gotten a lot of people killed? Not to mention that if he had succeeded, it would have caused a major power outage which would have caused a lot of disruption. That's it. You are grounded until the electronic chip shortage ends. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal. Go to your room right now. Wah! You all did extremely well in helping defeat the Legion of Muluk. You should all be very proud of yourselves for your bravery. And I know that James Rolfe couldn't be present because he had another mission to tackle, and I fully acknowledge that his mission was just as important as ours. Thanks Callum, it means a lot. But now I am back, and I will always be a proud member of the Cult of the White Dragon. And I want to give a special congratulations to our newest member, Marty McFly. You have really achieved your goal in making a difference, and I say you have more than earned your place in our heroic group. Thanks Callum. You are all really amazing people and I am glad I joined this gang. And you are all ungrounded for life. And while you are all ungrounded, I will take you all to Chuck E. Cheese's. You can now go out and do whatever you want. I'm sorry it took so long to get this video out, but I have been very busy lately. But now I am back and ready to make more videos for you all to enjoy. The next video I have planned is a regular grounded video featuring a member of the Legion of Muluk. I won't spoil anything, but hopefully, I should have it out very soon. I hope you all had a happy Easter, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, comment like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This is Callum Rockley signing off.